Let's talk Wall Street now. Jeff Stern joins us. And Jeff, uh, Wall Street began the week a uh, little off in the red. How did things end today so far? Ray, we weren't looking good to begin the week, but it's come back, so that's great. About a half percent for the Dow. NASDAQ's up close to one percent for the week, while the S&P about a half a percent. We know Monday was not good for any of the markets, but everyone's come back. S&P hit an all-time high this week. We know the Dow, as well as the NASDAQ, hit highs last week. Ten-year Treasuries actually ticked up to about 2.31%. We know there's a lot of noise going on, no matter if it's political, controversial, humanitarian. But the markets just have not seemed to care, and they've been going up and up and up. So I woke up this morning, the futures were negative, but let's see how we're currently trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, 22,361, down 19.5 points, a tenth of percent in the negative, while NASDAQ, 6,484, up 31 points, that half of a percent leading the way. S&P, 2,514, up 5 points, 20th of a 1%. Well, Jeff, the streaming service Roku is now a public company. How was their first day of trading? Yesterday was the first day of trading. They came out at $14 a share. That was on the high end of what they were thinking. The symbol is great because it's R-O-K-U, just the way the company is pronounced. So they got that on the NASDAQ. They raised $219 million with a valuation overall of $1.3 billion. Roku sold 9 million shares and a couple of early investors sold another 7 million shares. A total of 15.67 million shares are being traded. First day, Ray, was up 68%. 23.5 is what they closed at. Some people aren't quite sure what they do, but basically they make your TV a smart TV so you can stream all your shows as far as Netflix, HBO Go, ESPN. And actually, interestingly, in 2009, they left Netflix. So it, this company started from Netflix, and then they came on their own in 2009. Great first day. Last year, though, they lost $42 million. So it's kind of interesting. We have to keep our eyes on this. As we know, some of the tech companies this year came out and went up, like Snapchat, Blue Apron, and then they've come straight down. But last I checked, it was trading around $28 a share. So that doubled in two days. But for sure, we'll keep our eyes on it, Ray. Ah, the growing streaming services. Definitely. Right, thanks, what Jeff. will come next? Yep. Have a good weekend. Enjoy yours.